It's National Signing Day, and we are here with Coach Jay Norvell. Jay, another exciting year. First of all, I just want a little bit of a year one in review. Can you just kind of give us a little bit of that? You know, it, it, we knew we were going to have some areas that weren't, weren't quite up to speed and, and uh, really felt good about our de defensive personnel and, uh, and how we were able to play. We were really thin in our offensive line last year, and so we really wanted to address those thin areas in this recruiting cycle. Yeah, that offensive line, it was pretty glaring because you had Clay Mill in there. Yep. Obviously, he had actually a really great first year, but yep. he was kind of getting pounded there. Yeah, right? we, you know, we just were very thin. Uh, we had some guys that were seniors that we thought were good players, and then we had some injuries that right out the shoots after we played Michigan and really affected us in the non-conference. And I really felt like if we would have played more consistently up front, we would have won four or five more games. So we're really fortifying that. We got... Big linemen averaging 6'5", 300 coming in, 10 of them. Uh, so we really poured a lot of talent into there. We've got five receivers, all 6'1 or taller. We got three tight ends, all 6'6 or taller. And so we just think it's going to reflect what we're looking for in our team. So the first National Signing Day as a head coach, the last one, that's not really the, the real first one, if you would agree with that. This is really the first one where it's like truly your class, where you're out recruiting the yes. whole time. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, we came to Colorado State because of the great facilities, the great town, the great fan support, and uh, that's really correlated in, in our first year of recruiting. Uh, when we bring players to campus, they absolutely love the campus. They love the facilities. They love the town. The parents, we've had several parents want to move to Fort Collins. So um, that's really uh, shown uh, dividends in this first recruiting class. And we felt like we could retract great players, and it's, it showed up in this first class. So you have mostly three-star players in this class. You have three guys out of Colorado. Does that really kind of describe what you're used to seeing out of your recruiting classes back like when you were at Nevada? Or Yeah, we really spent a lot of time in the state of Colorado. We want to recruit every great Colorado player. Um, we had three tremendous players, uh, Silas Evans from George Washington, Tanner Morley from Valor, um, and, and uh, uh Javion Smith Combs from Cherry Creek and big kids. I mean, the the two linemen are huge. Silas Evans had a Colorado offer when we when we got him committed last summer, and so we just feel like those are players we could go anywhere in the country to try to find. But they were right here in our backyard. You keep talking about big, lengthy <laughs> guys, especially at your wide receiver, your tight yes. end class. I mean, is that really is that the way to to really just describe this class? You know, we really we really love uh, long, tall receivers, long, tall tight ends big, long, athletic linemen, and we just weren't last year. You know, we were, we were shorter, we didn't have much length, and it really showed in our pass protection. And so, you know, this is more indicative of what we're looking for. We stayed really true to our profile. We didn't deviate, and, uh, you know, and, and we think we're going to continue to improve as a team as we add these good players. So, Jay, I know you're a really candid guy. <laughs> um, how, how has it truly felt to see the other program in Colorado kind of go out there and get these huge five-star guys, kind of just make the national splash that they've made? Yeah. I mean, what does it feel like? I mean, I think whenever you hire a guy that has a personality like Dion, I mean, Dion was a great NFL player. Um, you know, everybody is familiar with him. And, and whenever a head coach gets a position – um, you know, you would expect some type of splash. So, it, you know, I think Dion did a great job at Jackson State. Um, I think he deserved the opportunity uh, at, at CU. And, and, and I'm, you know, I wish, wish him the best, but we're at CSU and we play Colorado. And, um, you know, it's one of our great rivalry games. And so we're going to be more focused on what we need to do and what we got to do to win those games. And you just mentioned it. I mean, I know that they're, they're not in your conference. So you don't right. have to worry about, about really recruiting against them. Right. But you will play them finally yep. this year. And you will kind of renew that rivalry. What does that feel and like to finally get that rivalry back? No, it's great. And, you know, that was one of the things when I took the CSU job. You know, I was looking forward to that game. You know, that's a game that uh, it's a great in-state rivalry game. And that's a great thing about Colorado State. You know, we, we've got the CU game. We've got the Wyoming game. We've got the Air Force game. We don't have to tell players why they come to Colorado State. It's to play those games and to win those games. And I'm just so excited it's back on the schedule. Besides those rivalry games, what are you really looking forward to this year? What's one thing that's just amping you up for this season? Well, it's just exciting. You know, we're program builders. That's what we are. We're, we're developmental coaches that recruit and develop. 
And, you know, on my first year at Nevada, we won three games. The second year, we won eight and won our bowl game. And just the difference and the improvement that you see from year one to year two with your players and your program, it's exciting. I can't wait to get back with our guys. Um, you know, we'll be back on the field with them next week in workouts and just really excited about what we can do this year. Now, while I have you here, I mean, I would just be remiss if I didn't ask you a couple topical things. I mean, <laughs> first of all, I mean, with, with the Broncos hiring Sean Payton, did yeah. you ever have any run-ins with him? Do you know him yes. in any way? Yeah, you know, it's um, Sean and I both uh, – we were both fringe free agent players with the Chicago Bears in 87. Uh, but I also knew Sean uh, when, uh, when he was with the Eagles and got hired as a quarterback coach uh, with Bill Callahan and, and um, John Gruden. Uh, and then we used to go visit him when he was with, with the Saints. I mean, one of the great coaches in the National Football League. He's got really unusual qualities that very few coaches have with some of the people he's worked with. And, you know, I think it's a great hire for the Broncos. And then lastly, I mean, just with Tom Brady retiring today, I have yeah. to just ask just a football mind like you, what is yeah. it like to, just to have seen somebody like him? So I, I coached with the Indianapolis Colts and, and, uh, and Tom Brady's first start. And uh, they played us in Foxborough in the old stadium. And so I got a chance to see his whole career. Just what an amazing career. And for him to play at 45 years old and play at the high level that he has and accomplish everything he has, what a tribute to him. And, you know, obviously one of the all-time greats. So it was, was uh, kind of sad to hear that this morning that he's, we're not going to be able to watch him anymore. But what a great career. Always appreciate talking to oh, you. Thank you. Really look forward to this season. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thank you.